second interview for Bill Belichick is underway. Well, I ain't going to say it's underway. It's going to happen. And it's a one-on-one with Arthur Blank. This is pretty much... This is a part. This is pretty much it. Bill Belichick is probably you know ninety five percent chance that he's going to be the next head coach of the Falcons. You don't get a second you know interview with the the owner of the team just for nothing. I mean, you're not going to waste anybody's time. There's millions and and in some cases tens or hundreds of million dollars on the line when you are trying to pick somebody of this stature and you're meeting with somebody of that stature. Um. We just got to be prepared for it at this point. I'm not for it. I do want the team to win. Hope for the best. But <clears throat> to be quite honest, it is, to me, I think it's, a, it's to me, it's a, an embarrassing look to get a guy like this here that um, basically took your Super Bowl away from you. You're joining forces on, with them. If you can't beat them, join them. It gives you that kind of vibes. But, look, it's my team. I'm going to ride with them no matter what. And... I think with this coaching move, if it happens, you're going to be a better team. I, you know, as far as picking players and 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 and, and, and getting the right guys on the field, it's not much to pick from because we got a lot of things in place. Got to figure out what we're going to do with the quarterback because we're probably going to get a veteran quarterback. I'll be really surprised if we uh, get a, a rookie quarterback at this point. Maybe he even tried to work on Desmond Ritter. <laughs> you know, you just never know. But uh, at this point, it looks like it's going to happen. Uh, second interview usually means that uh, something is something is in place. And uh, as Falcons fans, what do you guys think? How do you feel about this? I'm, I'm not a fan of it, uh, but I'll roll with it because... It's my team, man. I mean, you hate it. There's a lot of things that you that is a lot of things your team's not going to like to do. That they do. They're going to do things that you don't like. I'll just put it like that. And it, it, it's just what it is. And uh, I'm begrudgingly going for it. You know, I, I mean, I'm not going to be one of these guys to, to go against the grain and be like, I'm going to be like this this big time hater. Because, you know, I want to go against the grain of ownership in the team. I'm not going to do that, but I do have my doubts. I don't know if we're getting the same Belichick from, you know, the Super Bowl runs. Are we getting the same Belichick? Are we getting the Belichick from the last couple of years? Because if we are, this could really set back the franchise on something that really was moving in the right direction. Even if Arthur Smith didn't give us the results, we were moving in the right direction as far as, you know, playing football and and, and, you know, getting the staff together and getting the personnel here, the players, we were moving in the right direction. And I just hope this don't set us back. Uh, last but not least, I want this team to get get at least to the divisional round of the playoffs if Belichick is going to be here. I'm not expecting Super Bowl year one. I, I don't think that's realistic. If it happens, I'm all for it. But at the bare minimum, you need to get into the playoffs and win a playoff game. Or, hell, even if you get the number one seed in the, in, in the NFC, you're in the divisional playoffs, I, I can accept that. But you got to get at least to the divisional round of the playoffs. Anything less, to me, is a failure. Like I said before, obviously you want to win it all, but we, we got to be realistic. Are we really going to win it all in year one? I mean, Dan Quinn didn't even do that. He made it to the Super Bowl in year two, which in year two, in year two, I would love for us to be in that position again. But we got to be at least in the playoffs and win a playoff game. This team is too talented. It is too put together. And I think the lot people have like Kalias Campbell, Jesse Bates, all these other guys are really going to flourish under a Bill Belichick regime. We just need to get the quarterback correct. And I think we will be... I think we'll be all right. Uh, I, I, I just my gut feeling is telling me that it's my gut feeling telling me that we're going to be okay, but I don't like the way this is going just from an optic standpoint. And I know some people are already like you know get out your feelings, don't worry about that. You know you're just trying to win, and I get it. You know I get some people just want to win at all costs, but I mean I, I, I guess I'm just a little different. You know I, I, I'm just a little different. I want us to win, but. 
you know, not with that guy. You know what I'm saying? It's just kind of weird with that guy. You know, it's, it, I don't I don't know. I mean, maybe y'all feel different. Let me know what y'all think. I am going to finish the rest of my uh, truck route today, you know, driving on these roads. It's, it's pretty cold out here. It's not as bad as yesterday, but it's pretty cold out here. A lot of people are getting back to work and uh, traffic is crazy. So um, if you're out on the roads, please be careful. I don't care if you live in the Atlanta area or not. Just be careful on these roads. Some people, they just can't drive, man. It is what it is. But that's a whole nother tangent for another day. Let me know what y'all think. I am going to get up out of here. I appreciate the support. And uh, like, share, subscribe. And uh, I'll be out of here. And see you guys on the next one. All right, y'all. I'm out. Peace.